Hi everyone, welcome back to the homestead. Really quick update on our chicks. They are three weeks old and I cannot get over how big these guys are getting. They have doubled the amount of food that they're eating now just since last week. Um, they were still giving them the chick grid just like before, but we had to put a brick inside the tray because they're so big, they're spilling it over. Also, their feeder, we lifted it up. Fortunately, this feeder has little legs that we could just raise it up so that they're not getting their food all messy. And their waterer, we put it up on a couple of bricks so that they're not getting their water as nasty either. Um, but still feeding them um, 12, 12 hours a day and um, still having to clean up after them. I am now replacing the wood chips in here about every three days for sure. And I'm sorry, did I say they were three weeks old? Yeah, they're two weeks old. So they're going to be in the brooder for one more week and then they're gonna be going out into the yard in a chicken tractor. From this point on, we have removed their warmer. So they really need to get acclimated to weather outside. It is dropping down in the 60s at night, high 60s, low 70s. Fortunately, they're still inside the um, brooder. They huddle up together, they're keeping warm enough, and that really is plenty for them. They're developing feathers, which is great. And again, in a week, they're gonna be going outside, so they really need to be prepared for that. Here are a couple of things that most people may not wanna tell you about this breed. First of all, they are not an intelligent breed at all. We lost two of the chicks in the first day, first couple of days, because they weren't smart enough to get out from underneath the warmer. It got warm during the day. I had the warmer in there because I was always used to my other chicks who, if they were too warm, they just got away from it. These little guys didn't even think to do that. So they actually got too hot underneath the warmer. So we learned after that first time that during the daytime, because it got pretty warm outside, we just removed the warmer altogether. All we just didn't even leave it in there with them. Also, they're not the most resilient breed, so their legs can get kind of weak, especially because they grow so quickly. We are down to 21 chicks. So two of them we lost because, uh, like I said, they just they weren't smart enough to get away from the heater. And two of them, we actually had to put them down ourselves. We had to call them because their, their bodies got so big and their legs were not strong enough they couldn't walk so you know they just lay down all day long um, they weren't able to get to their food to their water and truthfully guys that is not a humane thing to do to your chicks so if you're raising this breed just know that ahead of time that that might happen there's you know nothing wrong with them specifically just sometimes that's gonna happen so if it does just be prepared to call those um, it's just not humane to to let them suffer and to let them struggle like that so we are down to 21 chicks, but these are doing so well. They're growing fast, they're active, they're moving around, they eat a lot, um, which is great. We're still going to keep them on those starter crumbles for another week. Um, and then after that, we're going to transition them to the starter pellets. And um, again, it, this is the turkey starter. so. We're gonna keep feeding them this way all the way to the end, and hopefully we're gonna have some really, really good chickens. This video is part of a series, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that playlist down here somewhere. If you haven't seen those first couple of videos, go ahead and click on that and watch it all the way through. Hopefully you guys are learning with us, and we'll see you next time. Until then, y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.